Hey everybody, it's Grant, and today we are gonna be giving you a tour of a project that I'm gonna swap over to right now. This project, this, this beautiful subdivision, I actually purchased 18 lots in, and I made this video almost a year ago, or at least eight months, and this video was about us going into not only build and keep real estate, but some build and sell real estate. So, you've guessed it, I'm doing spec homes. I have actually jumped in, I've taken the dive, and I'm gonna show you the entire journey to show you whether it uh, pays off or it doesn't work out. But I'm gonna show it all for you because I want you to learn better how to spend your money by watching me and what I'm doing. So, welcome to Sterlington's First Project. So this property has not always looked like it does here. Hopefully you enjoy, please comment, do me that favor. Please comment below if you enjoy these real estate videos where we show you ground up construction, where we show you build and keeps, where we show you buy and flips, where we show you all of this amazing content here on this channel. So that way it's, it's more like we've had this comment before. It's real estate lab class, so I hope you enjoy it. So comment, I enjoy real estate lab class if you don't mind, and I would very much appreciate it. So let's start off with this house. Let's rewind to where we actually broke the ground, poured the slab, and got this thing going. This property is going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to help fill up this subdivision with all these different houses. And up until this point, we have had a lot of speedy construction process, and we haven't got too held up with all the price increases. So after you pour the slab, then we had our framing, where we actually blazed through the framing process. We also have a sister house to this one that we're gonna show you in a future video. So after we framed it, then we had the uh, black end process. What this is, this is the process to where you get the house moisture resistant from all of the elements of water out there. And uh, you wanna definitely do this so that way you have a moisture barrier between you and whatever finish you're gonna do for the remainder of the house's life. Like your brick, your hardy board, uh, your vinyl siding or whatever. And for this particular house, we're going with my favorite and that is brick. Brick is one of the prettiest finishes you can put on a house and you can always paint it or do whatever you want to it to give a little bit more dimension. So, and then after you frame black in, get your amazing slab and remember, your slab and your foundation, just like mentally, you're gonna be able to build a strong foundation to make sure you can build a strong structure that'll last the test of time. But then you'll get to things like this. As you can see, they're putting the roof on right now. And uh, the windows have just gone in as well. And now they've just finished the electrical, the plumbing, as well as the AC. So let's give you a tour and show you what this thing looks like. And I'm telling you, video one, we have covered a lot of ground in this video and we gotta watch our steps, right? The, the flood has caused some issues where all of our, our stuff being everywhere. And they're not keeping the job as clean as I'd like. I'm not thrilled about that. So remember, when you do your bids, make sure your contractor knows you wanna keep a nice tidy job so that way nobody gets hurt. So here we are in the garage of this house. And as you can see, we've got the electrical being run. You have all the can light assemblies. And uh, right over here, you're gonna have the electrical panel. So as you can see, we're tying all of that into the electrical panel right over here in the corner. And then you're gonna have this really nice utilize of space. We utilize this space pretty well. This is gonna be a nice little storage area. Uh, just very good to have in closets for your garages, things like that. It just makes it a lot easier for you to keep your tools, whatever you're looking to do. Uh, also, we're gonna take a tour of this house and keep in mind, the next time we do this, this same property, it's gonna look a whole lot better because there's sheetrock in this week and I'm very excited about that. So right here you see where we have all of our receptacles being installed, everything's wired and it's really starting to get exciting because after you have your plumbing, your electrical and all your framing and your black end done, then the fun part starts where this project starts to come together and you get the sheetrock to really show you the different rooms and avenues and all the cool places that are gonna be in this house. And this one is me and Kayla's favorite. So this plan right here, as you can see also right here, we are in uh, the master bedroom. You have the two glass windows right there. Our windows just went in and they look absolutely great. So I'm very excited when the windows start going in. Here is gonna be the uh, master bathroom in here. You're gonna have your shower. You're gonna have your shower right here. You're gonna have your uh, nice quality tub with a beautiful window. We use the, uh, the non-clear non glass right there so that way you have that form of privacy. 
Uh, here is going to be your water closet, right? Fancy term, right, for toilet. <laughs> and you can see where we have our AC ducts all run, uh, where it's really starting to, uh, to come together. It's exciting. And I'm gonna show you Kayla's favorite part about this is because this is the closet of the master bedroom and bathroom. And, you know, I don't know if this makes everybody as excited as it made Kayla, but it connects to the laundry room. So that just makes it really easy for you to be able to drop your clothes right here. And, you know, if you gotta run some laundry and, you know, hanging out in the room or running the bath water, it makes multitasking a little easier. So this part here is going to be the foyer, the kitchen, and this part is our real favorite because these ceilings are absolutely amazing. They are so high and I can't wait till this room is sheetrocked. I can't wait until we have our island, our kitchen, all of it together because that's when it shows you the beautiful part about construction. And after you do this several times, it'll be able to where you can go stand on a slab. Now, this is still the hard part. Stand on a slab and go, okay, I can kind of see the plan that's in my head where it's gonna be. Once it's at this part, I can absolutely see an entire house here. So one of these days, hopefully these videos will help you when you're looking to build your next project, your first project, your first multifamily, or any of the other amazing content that we bring to you here on this channel. So here we are right here in the kitchen of the property. And as you can see, this is gonna be the island right here where we're gonna have uh, electrical outlets for you to be able to use, uh, plug in your appliances, whatever else. So right here is gonna be the hood. So imagine your cabinet hood right here, your vent hood is here. You're gonna have a ton of counter space. Your oven of course will be here and you'll have cabinet space all throughout. And then it'll surround that beautiful window that shows your giant backyard, which we're gonna get to in just a second. So I can't wait to show you how this kitchen looks with these very tall ceilings. It's gonna be amazing. I say amazing a lot. So let's go into the remaining of the house to show you all the other bedrooms. This is going to be a four bedroom, two bath, and the square footage of this house is just over 2,300. So here is one of the extra bedrooms. As you can see, you have to have a lot of natural light, it makes it very, very nice, a very spacious, step in, if not maybe a walk-in closet, but I'm gonna go with my favorite term, step in closet. Uh, and this one is going to be absolutely huge. We're gonna be putting really quality uh, double doors in here. It costs a little bit more money to use that versus those, those uh, accordion style doors, but it looks so much better. Also, let's take a tour down the hall. And as you can see, the bedrooms have really high ceilings. The hallways have really high ceilings, which you know, cost a little bit more money, but it looks so good. So in here, you have a little, little nook, little storage space right here. This is going to be the bathroom for all this side of the house. So right here is another bedroom in this house. As you can see, we have a little bit more natural light, which is always nice. And then this is an official walk-in closet. This is a, a step in and then some. So as you can see, this is a very spacious closet that anyone would love to have. So now let's go to the last bedroom in the house. So this one is also a spacious bedroom, more natural light, very tall ceilings, and another very spacious closet. This is another one just like the last one. On top of all of that, you wanna make sure when you're doing these projects that one, quality never gets sacrificed, Two, that you have the tall ceilings and you spend what I call smart money. There's gonna be several features in this house that are wow factors that when someone comes in, they want to move in. They wanna move in that day and they wanna make it their own. So make sure you remember all those things. I got one more thing to show you. Let's go to the back porch. Another place to spend what I would call quality money and smart money is here on the back porch. So this needs to be a place that you're gonna to wanna to entertain, that you're gonna to wanna to hang out with the family and that is another wow factor for your buyers. So definitely stay tuned for the next video where we're actually gonna be bricking this house and it's gonna start sheetrocking, bricking. The roof will be finished and then we'll start going to those beautiful finishes that we know are gonna attract our buyer. That being said, that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoy videos like this, please power up that like button, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. We post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So please, we'd love to see you there. Also, don't forget that I read 99% of the comments. So please comment below and I'll make sure to respond to you. And remember that I 100% believe in you. I know you can do anything you set your mind to and never let anyone say any differently. I hope you have a fantastic afternoon and I will see you on the next one.
And then, of course, another place that would be quality and smart money would be the back porch. <laughs> Can't get that door. Let's try that again. <laughs> 